Hey, I'm Glenn Quinton for StageBuddy.com, and I'm here with the dynamic duo, Matt Fraser and Julie Atlas Muse. Tell me a bit about your play, Beauty and the Beast. It's an adult version of the show. We worked on the show for five weeks in England, uh, and then toured it for five weeks, and then had a three-week all-sold-out successful tour uh, run at the Young Vic. If you were to ask uh, what's different about our Beauty and the Beast, I think that most people are fairly dissatisfied with that bit where the Beast turns into this perfect prince and it's a happy ending. She falls in love with the Beast, damn it, not some perfect prince guy. So we have a, an addendum to that. We have an added ending that addresses that. We use the metaphor of deformity of uh, as beastliness as perceived in society. Can you talk a bit about the start, like your first inspiration? We were both really hot for each other. But this we were, was a long time ago. Mm, but we were both married to other people. We manifested our attraction for each other by doing a project, an art project, nice and safe, right? I got some funding from a disability art uh, organization in Croatia. I got money. She wanted to do something with me. She went, yeah, what about Beauty and the Beast? It was like a no-brainer. I was like, why didn't I think of that? I called a version that we did previously a Ma and Pa version. We wrote it back and forth via email. We barely rehearsed, but we always got a standing ovation. Years later, both of our um, relationships crumbled for different reasons, and we were able and free and honorably okay to be with each other, which we joyfully became, and uh, picked up that project and thought, let's run with it, but this time, Let's get a director. Now, with the version that we did, we got proper Arts Council funding. We rehearsed every day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We had a bunch of people in the room. It was It's actually proper theater. I think because both Matt and I are such, we're such criminal minds and we're such renegades, we still have managed to keep that gritty mon pa quality. And it doesn't help that we're, we're humping naked at the end to Elvis. I'm Glenn Quinton for StageBuddy.com, and we'll see you at the theater.